In my last video, I brought up the attempted copyright strikes Sarasota Tim tried to place against my channel. One of the commenters, RRM, floated a theory that Tammy may have been behind the strikes. Let's take a look at the evidence. Two of the three videos were released six months ago. That seems like an awfully long time ago. They are popular videos, with the one about Tammy having 24,000 views, the most of any video on my channel. But these videos don't get a lot of views today. The Big Shot video is fairly new, but certainly not the most damaging video I've ever done on Tim. But all three videos do feature Tammy pretty heavily. She's the subject of one video and appears in the others. We all know Tammy was never happy to be on YouTube, and she's left comments about that before. I'm sure she would be thrilled if these videos were gone. Then there's the language Tim used in his appeal, calling me vile and evil. Vile is not a word Tim uses a lot. But Tammy has recently been using the word vile. That's how she described me when she left her recent comments on the video where her former cruising partner spilled the beans about her. And there's one more thing. A few days ago, in one of Sarah Sodatim's videos, he took a call from Tammy while he was in the middle of filming. So they are clearly still talking. But here's the danger for Tim, though. Tim said in his appeal that he was going to continue to submit claims against my videos. He just lost his appeal on three of my videos. It sure sounds like he is going to continue to report me, whether it's justified or not. YouTube doesn't like when you make false claims for copyright, though. How ironic would it be if Sarasota Tim lost his channel because of what Tammy wanted him to do? What do you think of this theory? Is Tammy still around, pulling Sarasota Tim's strings to get these videos removed? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.